What's up guys? Red Raven here, gonna show you how I go about making my drum patterns, so let's get into this. Um, first off, so you know, to me, I hear a delay in the audio, so it's like an echo. Um, so, excuse me if, like, you know, I, I pause the audio a lot to get it restarted, because to me it, it gets glitchy sometimes, but you guys won't hear that. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, all I've done is I've loaded my sounds up, um, routed them to the mixer. Um, so I have two kicks, three snares, uh, three percussion sounds is what I called them, uh, three closed hi-hats, and an open hi-hat. Um, channel one's my mic, so don't worry about that. Um, what I like to do with my kicks is I'll put them um, one on every four to start with because dubstep drum beats are half time. What that means is um, you take the tempo, you divide it by two, that's half time. Um, that's why dubstep has that slower, uh, groovy feel to it, um, is because the, it's, it's half time. Um, so I've got this kick sound, which is a higher kind of the hit. And then I have this bassier one. Um, so what I like to do is I'll, I'll stutter it like this. Uh, you get some cool sounds. Uh, let me stutter it this way. Yeah, I like that better. So there's my, that's what I'm gonna use for my kicks. Um, my snares, I will put uh, on every third. So one, two, three four so one two three four um and then i'll find one of them i'm gonna use that one because it's the higher pitch um it's like the top of the snare and i'm gonna do what's called ghost noting um if you listen to drum and bass you'll know what i'm talking about it's that you know what i'm saying it's that stutter note uh, if you're a drummer, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm a drummer, so um, I love to do this. It makes it sound uh, more alive, more human, even though it's clearly electronic sounds. It just makes it sound better. Um, so let's let's do that. First, let me turn this, that one down so it sounds a little... So we kind of have a shuffle thing coming up now. Um, let's do the hi-hats now. Now, I accidentally drag my open hi-hat in between my second and third closed, but it doesn't matter. And uh, I use OH hat to dig to specify open hi-hat just because it sounds like O when you say that. Um, I don't know, it helps me. Um, so let's go, let's do this. I have these sounds. I don't think I showed you my snare sounds. I have this. It's a fat mid. The high one you heard. And then a fat low. Um, so I have this hat. That's kind of like a high one. Little fat mid one. And then like an actual hi-hat sound from a real drum kit. The one I, what I do with this one here is I'll put it on the offbeat of these, uh, the first and thirds here so one two three four you know and I, I just keep doing that um, so that it shuffles it so it's like not bad um, and then what I'll do with these is I'll make this little tick sound so it's like so it, it builds up to the snare gives it a nice shuffle sound um let's go ahead and put it there put it there so we have a nice little you know groovy beat there um 
Now we'll add some like effects type sounds to it. Um, I call them percussion sounds. We have that. So um, pretty simple sounds, but they'll give a nice feel to the beat. Um, so. Actually, I'm gonna do this instead of that hi-hat there. I'm going to, which one was it, damn it. Okay, so it should sound like. So, changed it up a bit. I like that better. Um, put that. Put that with that ghost snare. That's what I'll do. That'll make it sound weird. That sounds a little different. Um, dubstep is all about being different. Um, you don't want your your music to sound like anybody else's. You want it to sound like yours, unless you, you know you're a copycat. But most people want their music to be their own, so it's all about being different, really. Um, you'll as you get better and you you practice more, you'll develop your own style, um, and that'll really help you along. There's a drum beat. Uh, I'll come back with another video and I'll uh, show you how to make uh, a bass sound to, to put with this. Alright? Uh, let's give it peace out. Oh, and be sure to uh, check out ausdubstep.net. Um, it's a little dubstep community forum. It's small, starting out. Check it out.